Welcome to this X8R video demonstrating how to install our swirl flap blanks on the Pierberg inlet manifold. As you can see here, there are a few common faults with this manifold. The ball joints on the swirl flaps tend to deteriorate, causing the operating rods to pop off and for the swirl flaps to no longer function correctly. This can often be overcome with our swirl flap rod repair kit, but sometimes the ball joints are beyond repair and alternatively the swirl flaps within the manifold can be damaged, in which case the options are replacing the manifold at great expense or to blank off the swirl flaps and remove the problem. You can see here our swirl flap blanking plugs. These are billet machined from aluminium with a Viton seal. They are designed to be fitted for life and to cure forts associated with the swirl flaps. There are two types of Pierberg manifold which are affected by this fault. They are very similar, but the blanking plates are slightly different. This video demonstrates how to install both types. They are primarily the same install. The only variation between them is the method of removing the old swirl flaps, but both methods are shown here for guidance. Pry out the two tabs on the side and lift up to remove the flap, as shown. Using a small punch or a small chisel, tap out the swirl flaps. You may have to tap at different angles to allow the swirl flaps to start moving. Repeat this stage for all four swirl flaps. Before fitting the swirl flap blanks, always do a test fitting. Apply grease around the o-ring of the blank and fit the blank into the hole. Once you are happy the blank fits correctly, remove the blank. Apply the adhesive to the rim of the blank all the way around and refit, being careful not to get the adhesive on the o-ring. Again, with the larger swirl flap blanks, always do a test fit, applying grease around the o-ring before fitting. Once you have test fitted the blank and you are happy it fits correctly, apply adhesive around the rim of the blank, again trying not to get any adhesive on the o-ring before fitting the blank. Repeat this stage for all four swirl flap blanks. For a different type of manifold, again, remove the flap from the top by prying the two levers out, as shown, but with this one you have to remove the screws before removing the swirl flaps. 
remove both screws from the flap as shown. With both screws out, you are free to remove the flap. You may need a small pick or screwdriver to allow access to assist in removing the flap. Once the flap is removed, you are now free to remove the swirl itself. Using a flat-bladed screwdriver or a pry tool, pry the swirl out. You may have to move the swirl into different positions to help the swirl to be removed. Again, before fitting the blanks, always do a test fit, applying grease around the O-ring of the blank. Once you are happy the blank fits correctly, again apply an adhesive around the rim, applying the adhesive evenly, and fit the blank into the hole. With this type of manifold, the smaller blank is slightly different to the other as it has a little stopper. Again, apply grease around the O-ring for a test fit. Once you are happy with the test fit, apply adhesive around the rim in the same way we demonstrated with the others. Once the adhesive is applied, press the blank in until the stopper allows it to stop. This completes the repair. Thank you for watching this X8R video. If you have any questions, you can contact us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk.